During this video, I'm going to show you how you can use our time delay feature to delay different aspects of your website until a certain time frame has been reached by the visitor. So for example, I could hide this order now button for the first 10 seconds that the visitors on the website for the first 30 seconds for the first minute, completely up to you. Now with this feature, we can hide anything. Okay, no matter what it is, we can hide it for as long as we want to hide it. Now this strategy is often used on video sales letters to hide the order now button until the video has played a certain amount of time and then the buy button will appear below the video. That's the most common way to do it, but we allow you to hide anything you want for as long as you want. And to do that, here I am on my sales page, you need to click on the content area that you want to hide. So. So for example, this headline in this video is inside of one content area, which is this white box. This order now button is inside of one content area by itself, which is this gray box. And then below here, we have another content area. And if you just click on the background, it will highlight the content area so you know exactly how big that content area is. And to actually hide one of these and add a delay to it, we'll just click inside. So I wanna hide my order now button. So we're gonna click inside of that. We are going to click on the gear symbol here and on the right hand side, you will see a display delay. So we're going to click on this. We are going to enable the display delay and you're going to choose how long you want this content hidden until it appears to your visitor. So let's say for the first 10 seconds, I want this button to be hidden so that the visitor cannot click on it until at least 10 seconds and then it will appear. Now, the thing is, I also have a buy button down here with some other content. So I actually want to hide all of this content for the first 10 seconds. So I'm going to click inside of this box here. We're going to do a display delay, enable it, and do 10 seconds for that one as well. Same thing for this content box, display delay, add my 10 seconds. And same thing for my bottom order button. We're going to display that and delay it for 10 seconds, okay? So that means when someone comes to my webpage, all they're gonna see is the title and my video for the first 10 seconds, and then all of this information here would appear. So let's go ahead and save this and take a look and make sure that it works okay. So we're gonna preview my page. All we have here is a video for the first 10 seconds, and then my purchase button and my bullet points and my features will appear below this video in a matter of seconds. There we go, just like that, okay? Pretty neat stuff, right? Now, obviously, I would adjust my timer to kind of line up with my video. That could be one minute in, it could be two minutes in, it could be 15 minutes in. But I would adjust that so that it goes with the flow of my video. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be a purchase button that you are hiding, you can hide anything you like for as long as you like. Like I said, you just highlight the content area that you would like to hide, click on the gear symbol, click on display delay, make sure you enable it, and you can choose how long you would like to hide that content before it becomes available to your visitor.